Hi, I'm Mary Jane, and I'm here today to talk to you about mushrooms. The very first issue of High Times in summer 1974 had a girl eating a mushroom on the cover. They definitely have a very specific taste. Some say it tastes like earth or dirt. Some people just don't like the taste of mushrooms. So what I've done for a long time is make mushroom chocolates. And people have always asked me how I do it, so I'm going to show you. It's really easy. Today we're going to work with about a half an ounce of mushrooms per six ounces of chocolate, and that's going to make a batch of about 15 chocolates. So it'll be just a little less than under a gram per chocolate. The ingredients we're working with today are delicious chocolate, delicious mushrooms, <laughs> Mushrooms that we got from a friend. We also have some mushrooms that a friend grew for us. And we've got uh, regular chocolate, some hazelnuts. You can kind of add anything you like. You can always put dried fruit in there or decorative sugar, whatever you like. But today we're gonna go really simple just with chocolate and mushrooms. You need a scale to weigh out your mushrooms. You're gonna need a way to grind up your mushrooms. I use a coffee grinder that I have dedicated to the cause. You're going to need molds of some kind. I am using silicon molds today. You're also going to need either a double boiler or one pot that fits inside another in order to melt your chocolate. As with any substance you're not familiar with, if you haven't taken mushrooms before, start with a really small dose. These chocolates we're going to make today will have about a gram per piece, so you could even start with half or a third of a chocolate. So the first thing we're going to do is weigh our mushrooms to make sure that we have half an ounce. You want to tear your scale so it's at zero. That's exactly half an ounce. You're going to use your coffee grinder and you're going to grind up your mushrooms. Probably have to do it in batches. Another thing that you should make sure to do when you're working with your coffee grinder to make your mushroom chocolates is to clean it really well afterwards so you don't get an accidental dose of mushroom dust with your morning java. When you pull it out of the grinder, there can be some powder, so you might want to work with a face mask or a kerchief tied over your mouth and nose if you don't want to inhale any dust. So the next step is melting your chocolate. Today we're gonna melt five ounces of chocolate. We don't have a double boiler today, so we're just gonna use a larger pot with about an inch of water in it and a smaller pot that fits right on top. So once your chocolate is all melted, you can take it off the heat. And your next step is to add your mushroom dust. And if the chocolate seizes up at this step, gets too difficult to work with, you can always take it back to the heat for a moment to liquefy it again. But you want to work with it off the heat as much as possible so that the mushrooms stay on the cool side. So once it's all mixed in, make sure you scrape the sides really well. So there is our mushroom chocolate. And the next step is to put it into molds. You just want to pour it very carefully. And I usually fill each mold about three quarters of the way and then top them off to make sure that everything's even. I'm gonna just pick it up and drop it several times. Once you've poured your chocolates into the molds, you wanna chill them in the fridge for about 25, 30 minutes. Once you've given it about half an hour chilling, you wanna pull your chocolates out of the fridge and then you're just gonna pop them out of the mold really gently. My favorite thing about chocolate mushrooms is that you can prepare them and package them in individual doses and then share them with your friends, especially if you're going camping or to a festival, it's a lot of fun. You can put them in little individual foil caps like this, or you can wrap them in squares of foil. I'm going to put them in little individual cupcake containers because I'm going to serve them tonight. When you're working with chocolate, you have to remember that it melts when you touch it, so work fast. 15 perfect mushroom chocolate. See how easy it was? That's it. So if you want to share your favorite mushroom recipes in the comments, hit us up and we'll see you next time.